Now a neighborhood crime alert. Nearly a dozen homes and cars broken into. Guns, electronics, jewelry all taken and now homeowners are being told to lock their doors and be extra vigilant. Investigators say the burglaries are happening in Clay County and that burglars have even broken into the same home twice on two different days. That happened at a home in Orange Park along Hollycrest Boulevard. Channel 4's Marcus White is live with now with more on what's happening in this neighborhood crime alert. Marcus. Uh, Tarek Joy, a lot of people concerned about that incident that happened with those two homes in Hollycrest Boulevard. And de a deputy say that they're not really sure if the incidents are connected, but they are telling people to make sure that their cars are locked. They want people to make sure that their homes are locked as well. Guns, jewelry, and electronics stolen from several homes in Clay County since August 20th. One of the most concerning burglaries, a gun and a knife were stolen from an unlocked truck on Munjack Court on August 20th. He's willing to steal, he wasn't going to do anything. A gun worth $600 was also taken from a home on Marina Court in Keystone Heights the next day. They can be sold repeatedly over. Um, more often than not, they're used in violent crimes. Uh, and unfortunately, some people get hurt and killed. The home was ransacked and electronics were stolen the same day on Center Way. On August 21st, the front door of a home on Peppergrass Street was also damaged and electronics were stolen. Middleburg isn't the only place where deputies are telling people to lock up their cars in their homes. A wallet, jewelry, and other items were also taken from a parked car on the side of Burgerville Hideout Bar on Highway 17, south of Green Cove Springs. In Orange Park, electronic items were stolen from a home on Hollycrest Boulevard. The home Homeowner also told deputies a laptop was stolen from the same home about a week earlier. There's four cops that live right here in this two block radius. That's just really gutsy. They have to be from around here. Investigators haven't said if they believe any of the crimes are connected, and so far there's no description of any suspect. Deputies continue to tell people in Clay County about their campaign. We tell folks repeatedly if you like your things to lock it up. It's a sheriff's office uh, crime prevention theme. If you like it, lock it. Deputies say the days of people feeling comfortable leaving their cars and homes unlocked should be over. Meanwhile, some say if someone breaks into their home and they are home, there's no telling what could happen. They're likely to get shot around here. And people are being told to make sure that they do not leave their garage door openers in their unlocked vehicle. Meanwhile, investigators are telling us that property crimes are actually down in Clay County. They actually say that there are fewer property crimes in the first six months of this year compared to the first six months of last year. Marcus White, Channel 4, the local station. Marcus, thanks. We dug a little deeper into those crime rates. Marcus just mentioned in Clay County, violent crime is down 24 percent when comparing the first six months of this year to last year. Nonviolent crime decreased 1 percent during that same time period. That includes burglaries, which are down 13 percent, and thefts, which are also down 6.5 percent.